Well hello everybody, this is your boy Panya Dan and today I'm going to be doing a review. Before I do the review I'd like to just say thank you for everyone su subscribing to me. It's 36 right now, I would like to get to 100 um, after this year. I would like to do a very special review and well, that has to wait. But uh, I'd like to say sorry I haven't been on for a while. I have GCSEs to do, I have just left school but I have to still go back to do GCSE work. If you're if you're doing your GCSE work, you know how difficult it is to do videos and revising for a test. But I've got this little chance today to do a review and as you read on the title it is a da -da 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 -da, a warship class class 40 class and I do not have one of these no I actually have two and I bought these from a the same bloke it was a Romford show if you live near Romford you know uh, where it about it is it's in Essex and well there was a stall there I was looking around and I just saw these two these two and I was like I have to go for that. I had only £100 with me. £100 might sound a lot to some of you, but if you do save up, like what I've been doing, I saved up about 600 right now, 600 dollars quid, you know that, well, you can buy quite a lot, but I am saving for the future. But, yes, I bought these um, for £70 for both of them. So that's £35 each. And... Uh, they these were thirty eight pounds each, and if you work that out, that's going to cost like over eighty pounds sort of thing. But uh, I asked him if he can narrow it down to thirty five pounds because it will be seventy pounds, and he says, "Yeah, okay, I'll do for that. I'll, I'll go for that." So I was glad I got these because I thought I'll never because I was waiting. You know when you go get that feeling when you're looking around and you're like, should I still look at other stalls and see whether I really want it? And it's taking me like two hours to decide whether to buy them or not. Because I was thinking that could I get them cheap on eBay or would I lose a complete and I bargain? But I think I got a right bargain. But what I'm going to be doing today is only doing one review of one of these I'm going to be doing this one that one will be coming next week so I'll be putting a behind me and looking at this one uh, if we look on the side of the box it is class 40 warship diesel D832 onslaught BR green and well what can I say onslaught great name and as you can see on the picture there, that is actually called Onslaught. So I've actually got a locomotive which is preserved and is on the picture. <laughs> How amazing is that? So what I'm going to do now is open it up and see what she is like compared to the real life one. So this is quite a tight box, but finally I'll draw her out. Uh, there's the outer box. And in the box, you get a pitch card. There's Onslaught itself. And it's a warship B B. Comment below what that means. I think it's Bobo, but it doesn't actually say Bobo. Um, and it's a diesel hydraulic locomotive. And on the back of the postcard, you have a brief history of the warship. And what I would like to say is that our I think these were basically designed by a German locomotive which is a V200 class and well I have actually seen them on the, on the internet and they do pretty much look the same so basically this locomotive is a German lookalike but built in Britain um, so what we do is take the insides out and put the postcards behind me and well you don't get the correct club the um, letter or the guarantee but what you do get is part sheet there's all the parts and you've got 
different types of bodies. You have Maroon Foxhound, Onsort, which is this one, or Eclipse, or Monarch, which is in BR Blue. So, <laughs> I, I won't be getting another Class 42. I love the 42s, but I won't be getting a lot of them. I would ask to get, like, maybe one more, but it's money at the moment, and I'm actually on a tight budget. So, there's the locomotive itself, and here's the parts. And what you get in the parts department is that you get two lots of each thing. So you've got vacuum pipes and coupling, or couplings. And these front things, I'll show you later on in the review what these are. So, in the box you've got a lovely cast 42 warship. And obviously this is a polystyrene box, so you've got two holes in the back. Most of the time it's usually one for small locomotives, but this is two holes. And you just bring her out, take out the polystyrene box and put it to one side. And take this foamy stuff, what's wrapped around it, away. And there she is. Um, as you can see here, she is in the BR Green delivery. There's the Late Crest, not the early emblem. Late Crest is my favorite, um, second favourite de um, delivery in the BR region. Uh, early emblem is my top favourite. I don't know why, but I just love it. There's a name on slaw. If anyone knows where I can get etch name plates for these, please comment below. And there's the number D832. And these little red dots, I think people have been saying these are indicator lights. I don't know why they've got indicator lights, but uh, please comment below if I'm right. Um, on the front, you have 1A62. I don't know what the hell that is all about, but... Um, Inside the cab, though, you have got two drivers and, well, no painted cab details in there, but you could paint it yourself. I might actually show you in the video how to paint your, um, like, detail the cab yourself. And you have from buffers and not any um, coupling. And what is quite strange about this coupling is if you look underneath, I cannot pull it out. There is no screw. There is no, like, what you used to have is you used to just yank it out. But there is a screw in there, as you can see there. And what you have to do, which I think, is take the whole bogey out to um, get that coupling off, which is a shame, Batman. Shame on you. Um, you've got nice foot steps here, nice handrails. Um, the bogey ta detail is not too good because if I just put it down for a sec and get the postcard, as you can see there, the bogey has white rims around it and it's got this like uh, dull thing. I could try and make myself one of those on the wheel. But I, don't, I think it would be a bit too difficult to do that. But if you look at the model, it doesn't have any of those bits. And the real one does. But I have seen recently, even the newer versions do not have this much detail as this one. So what's going on, Batman? Are you losing your touch on detail-wise? Go on, Batman. You, can know, you know better. Um, but... Actually, on the front, you, ha you have ra um, rails there. Uh, you've got a little window here, but it's covered up by the big leaded uh, weight in there. And what I should say, really, is it is really, really, really heavy. It's actually hurting my arm right now. That's why I'm putting on my leg. Cool. It's like weights here, like one, two. <laughs> um... You've got another window here, and quite nice grills, not too edge, 
But look at the roof. Core oh, blimey. Even for an old model. Look at that. Even look. The exhaust is see-through. Look at that. You can see the different colours. Well, black and white, black and white, black and white. But wow, what a m amazing roof. Uh, and another uh, exhaust here. And I think that the reason why they have two exhausts and two fans, as you can see there, is might be on the prototype Deltic, they had two boat engines. And I think this had like two little boat engines to make real, real good power. But comment below if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, on the front or the back or whatever side, you got saying 1A62 and spawn buffers again. And on the other side, you get the same ways on the other side but actually I've got to tell you that there's two drivers on either end I actually forgot about that that is quite weird and you've got quite a lot of these um, warning symbols so well one amazing like massive as you saw there I done it a bit differently instead of stopping it and editing it what I've just done I if you look at some of my reviews, they were quite long. They were like about under 15 minutes, a bit over 15 minutes. But if you're on YouTube, you know that the limit time you can have is 15 minutes. If I go over 15 minutes and 30 seconds, I cannot upload it. So that's a problem for me. But hopefully this is a little bit quicker, I should admit. Just a little bit quicker. But that's my opinion I hope that you like this review if you like this review please um, leave a like if you want to follow me on YouTube please subscribe and I'll hopefully see you uh, as well and if you want to leave me a comment you can but for now I'll see you later guys and I'll be doing a running video very soon maybe tomorrow maybe Thursday, but I'll see you soon guys. Bye